Welcome back to Cooking with Jeannie B. Delicious or GBD. Today, we're going to be making another fabulous recipe. We're going to be making spaghetti squash casserole. So the first thing we're going to do is just go over the ingredients that I'm putting in here. So, um, of course, we need a spaghetti squash, right? Spaghetti squash. So we need a spaghetti squash. Um, we need some kind of uh, spaghetti sauce. You can do a can of spaghetti sauce because we're going to add some things to it to make it really wonderful. Um, we need some onions. Um, and I'm going to add some olives to mine. Um, some type of garlic. If you have fresh garlic, use fresh garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, I use this garlic and herb seasoning. And fennel. I love fennel in any Italian stuff. And of course we have Jeannie B. Delicious um, Italian seasoning that I grew in my garden this last couple of years. And so I still have some left. Yes, and of course we're gonna need cheese and a little bit of butter. So let's get started. All right, so right now we're just gonna prepare the spaghetti squash. And what we need to do is cut it and I'm gonna microwave it to get it all the pulp out of the inside. And if you've never seen a spaghetti squash before, this is the reason why they call it a spaghetti squash because inside the pulp, um, it looks like spaghetti noodles. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the top and the bottom. I have a utility knife which makes it really nice to cut the ends off the spaghetti squash. So I cut off both ends and then I set it down like that. And then you just wiggle back and forth until you have the insides exposed. So you will take out all the seeds and stuff on the inside. So we're just gonna gently scrape out all the, the seeds and the seeds are edible. So they're like pumpkin seeds. You can eat them, roast them and eat them just like pumpkin seeds. So if you wanna save them and eat them, you certainly can. Um, if you don't want to, you can just put them in your compost pile or discard them in the trash, however you do things. And then what I do is I stick it face down. On a microwavable plate. And then I add some water to the base. So I just pour enough water in there to fill the bottom of the plate. Then I stick it in the microwave for about 10 minutes and check it. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up some onion. I know that some people cry when they cut their onions. This is a sweet onion. I don't necessarily tear up, but when I was younger, so I'm just gonna finally kind of like cut them up in little smaller pieces. I should use my other knife, but that's okay. We're just gonna save water and not have to do a bunch of dishes. So I'm just gonna cut up the onion. I put it in the pan with a little bit of butter. Okay, so another ingredient, butter. So this is what I mean about home cooking. Just gonna put like a tablespoon, maybe a little less than that, of butter in there and put it on my Dutch cooker on medium high heat. And you can see that it's steaming up nicely in the microwave. All right, and here's another ingredient. I looked in my freezer and saw that there was some leftover hamburger that I put in the freezer. I'm gonna add that to it as well. All right, so the timer went off and I just check. This one's pretty good. This one needs just a little bit longer, so I'm gonna probably put it in there for another three minutes. I just thought of something else. I can add some green peppers to it. Oh, yummy, so we're gonna have green peppers and olives and spaghetti sauce. Oh, it's so going to be delicious. I'm going to add some green peppers. Mm. Just make it your own. If you don't like this kind of stuff in your um, spaghetti, you may not like it in this dish as well. Okay, so spaghetti squash is done. And the way I can tell, see how smushy it is? All right, so we just take it out. It has a lot of juice, a lot of hot water, boiling water. All right, so here we go. We're going to add the meat, mystery meat. 
Yeah, we don't know if it's really beef. And then we're going to add some fennel. And I'm just going to shake a little bit in. You don't need much because fennel is pretty strong. Little fennel. You're going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Probably like a teaspoon. Oh, and some garlic seasoning. And I am going to move my oven rack down. Um, and we're going to be baking, so we're turning it to bake. So turning it to bake. And then you're going to preheat the oven. So I just set it for 30 minutes at bake. All right, there's the spaghetti squash. See how pretty it is? All spaghetti and I'm gonna put it layer it in here um, but for right now we're just gonna add some of these olives our can of spaghetti sauce and we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes um, I've got a couple of more secret ingredients that I'm going to add but I'll do that in a minute so what I'm going to first do before why that other stuff is cooking is I'm just going to layer some spaghetti squash into the little baking pan. And I actually am just going to probably put all of it in there. So because there's not much, it's just me. So you don't need much and just spread it around. Right. Oh, we got a couple seeds in there, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anybody. And then I'm just gonna put a little pepper on top of that. I think I'll use a little cayenne. Let's go back over here to our pan. We had to turn it down, probably medium low. We have our oven heating. So here's my secret ingredient. So once it's cooked for about 10 minutes, I know this is terrible everybody, but here's my secret ingredients. So here's my secret ingredient a little bit of sugar. It's not brown sugar. It's just um, all natural coarse brown sugar. And here's the other ingredients. A little bit of baking soda. And I put the baking soda in the tomato sauce because of the acidity in the tomato sauce. And if you're like me, you get heartburn from tomato products, the baking soda helps. So there you go, my two in secret ingredients in my tomato sauces. So once this is thickened up and cooked down a little bit, we're gonna layer it on top of that spaghetti squash and then we'll put it in our toaster oven. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day and I just enjoy cooking with everybody. It's so much fun. And then of course, you know, we're cooking out of love. So I am definitely not a chef, um, nor do I ever claim to be. I've never officially went to school. I went to the school of survival. The school of survival of cooking with what you have when you have it, whether it be food from the food bank or just making a meal out of nothing. That is what I do. And I, I don't know if anybody's ever had spaghetti squash. I'm sure they have. It's a pretty common squash nowadays, but it is delicious. And it is one of my favorite noodles for spaghetti. And you can make linguine with it and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, yeah. Now that the spaghetti squash is ready to be put on, we're just gonna warm up our oven more. It clicked off. Um, so what I'm doing now is just gonna pour that on top of the spaghetti squash and just spread it around. It's got a little bit of everything in there. And then we're going to take our cheese, whatever cheese you want. I have a couple different kinds. I have finely shredded Monterey Jack cheddar queso quesadilla asadero cheese, but it's all it's all the same cheese. But so we're going to sprinkle the cheese on the top. This one's a great value brand. And then I have this other one that is called a thick cut shredded cheese. And this one's sharp cheddar Gouda and Asiago. I 
then I love Italian foods. I don't know about you, but Italian foods are one of my favorites. And we're gonna put this in the toaster oven for about 20 minutes maybe. So we're gonna put that in the toaster oven. We'll let it cook for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna crack my window so I'm not setting off that thing right there. So here we go. You can hear it sizzling and stuff. It's gonna be so good. But yeah, about 20 minutes, it should be ready to go. It's gonna be delicious. I better crack that window before the alarms start going off. And happy birthday to me. Cheers to everybody. So we've done dishes, we've done cleanup, we've put everything away. Now it's just a waiting game. So cheers, sip up, be merry, have fun. Go out there and spread love, not hate. So just thought I would show everybody where I'm wearing today. Fabulous little gauze and slippers. See the slippers, woo! <laughs> Yay, Jeannie B. But anyway, it is not that nice outside. So see how long my sweater is? And it's such a great sweater. Like, look at this, such a great sweater. Doesn't it make you want to go to festivals and stuff? It's such a great sweater. I love this sweater. It even has pockets, but they're a little low. Um, but I thought I would check on the toaster oven to see where we're at, because I kind of want the um, spaghetti squash cheese to be a little bit more melted. So see that smoke boil out. Have the window open. And these are my favorite pot holders. It looks like a lot of the stuff is going through that um, pan, but the cheese is nice and melted. So um, let's just check the bottom because sometimes the bottom on a toaster oven, the timer went off, the cheese is nice and melted, the sauce is boiling, definitely is ready to eat. Scrumptious noodles. Yay. Mm. Looks so good. Woo. Here's to another great recipe with Jeannie B. Delicious. Thank you for joining me and cooking with me today. I hope that you enjoy this meal as much as I do. Before we test it, I'm just letting it cool down a little bit so I don't burn the fuck out of my mouth. I love spaghetti squash. I don't know about you, but spaghetti squash is one of my favorite meals. I love, I mean, out of all the vegetables that you can make, like an Italian, whatever you want, this is what Jeannie B puts together. Whatever you put together, do it. You can take that canned spaghetti sauce. It kind of has like a metallic taste to it. And by adding a little bit of baking soda, just a pinch and a little bit of natural sugar to it, it just makes it taste so much better. Of course, I put the fennel and the other Italian seasonings in it, and it just made it even more gourmet. There is meat in this, there's olives, you got all kinds of good vitamins in here. So it's about proportion. This is about all I can eat, probably, probably about a cup of food. Thank you once again for joining me with Cooking with Jeannie B. Delicious, or GBD, as everybody loves to call me. Here is to good food, good times, and salut. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends, families, and other people. Remember that the comments that you leave below, and if you wanna see send me free products, I need to update my address on there because I do have a new PO box that you can send items that you would like me to debut, debut on my show. And if you want to sponsor me, I know um, you can do that as well. Love you all, bye. Mm.